Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my everyday makeup routine. This is what I do in about 20 to 30 minutes when I get ready for work every day. It's pretty simple and minimal and really focuses on just looking bright and awake and just kind of enhancing my skin tone. I like using highlighters and stuff like that and winged liner on a daily basis, but I skip the eyeshadow and stuff to make it a lot faster. I also use a combination of drugstore and higher end products to kind of mix it up. And these are a lot of my favorites too that I count on to work for me every day. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm first starting out by using the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation mixed with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I'm doing this so I can get the right shade for my skin tone. I also really like the finish that they both give, so I'm just mixing them to use them both up. I'm just using my e.l.f. Selfie Ready Foundation Brush to blend everything out and it just makes it come out so flawlessly and very quick and easy to apply. Now I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm just using a dry beauty blender to apply this underneath my eyes. I try to do a very big triangle shape to make everything look very bright and awake and also help conceal some of the redness on my cheeks. Now I'm using the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Setting Powder in an e.l.f. Kabuki just to apply this all over my face. It works awesome at setting my under eye concealer. Now I'm using the Estee Edit The Barest Bronzer and I'm just applying this as a contour. I'm using my Sigma Soft Angle Contour Brush which just makes everything go on so flawlessly and very quick and blends out really easily. Now I'm using my Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Palette. I'm just taking the blush shade Amaretto and I'm applying this using their highlighting brush and I'm just applying that to my cheekbones and then I'm taking the actual Champagne Pop highlighter. I'm just applying that all over the tops of my cheekbones and also underneath my brows and on my inner corners. I skip eyeshadow on a daily basis and I just try to highlight my eyes to make them look more awake. Now to fill in my super light brows, I'm using the e.l.f. This is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil and I'm just filling those in with that really lightly, just creating more of an arch and also trying to darken them up a bit. Then to help them match my hair color a little bit more, I'm just using my Coastal Scents Eyebrow Kit. This is a really nice like burgundy brown shade and I'm just using a very skinny eyebrow brush from Bodyography just to try to fill these in a little bit more and make the color match perfectly. Now I'm using the Brow Gal Eyebrow Gel and this is super hardcore brow gel, like your brows are not going to move at all when you use this. It's a little bit intense sometimes so I just use a really light hand with it. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. Intense Ink Liquid Liner and this is my favorite liquid liner because the line that you get is so sharp and you can get a really skinny line or you can do something more dramatic. A little bit of a wing to extend my eyes out a little bit and then just kind of darken everything up. And then I'm using the Beauty For Real, this is the black eyeliner pencil and I'm just running this on my lower lash line to connect everything. Now I'm curling my eyelashes. And then I'm using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is in Blackest Black and I just do about two coats of this. Now for lips, I'm using the Mana Kadar. This is the liquid lipstick in Lucky and I love these lip glosses so much because they have really high color payoff and they're just very smooth and comfortable to wear. I think I got this in one of the beauty boxes that I'm obsessed and it's a really pretty mauve color. It's natural and it goes with everything. It's one of my go-tos for sure. So that's it for my everyday makeup routine video. I would love to hear what your daily routine is, so definitely let me know in the comments down below. I will have photos of this look if you want to pin them and save them on Pinterest. That'll be on the blog post, along with all the products that I use in this video will be linked on that blog post too, which will be the first one in the description box down below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Bye, everyone. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Moroccan Oil Curl line. I have a bunch of products here from them that I wanted to share with you guys and see how they worked on my hair and kind of give you my thoughts.